as I was saying before, um, it's amazing how Stephen A. Smith, Skip Bayless, and others have given um, Mr. Adams a pass on calling um, the Golden State Warrior point guard and all their guards, for that matter, monkeys. Trying to say that he's not familiar with the culture of this country. Oh, he's from New Zealand. Are you kidding me? Are you really kidding me right now? There's no way that he shouldn't have been fined for making such ignorant, stupid comments like that. And trust me, if, if they're crazy enough to fine the um, coaches for talking out of turn about the refs, when it's obvious, let's face it, these NBA refs are a joke. They make bad calls every, every damn game. It's ridiculous then they should be more than man enough to give the guy a fine for stating stupid stuff like that. I mean, I, I don't I don't care about that weak apology. I mean, we already know it was handwritten by his his handler, whether it's his agent or his lawyer or, or whoever is um, representing Mr. Adams. So, of course, nothing's going to be done, and plus... Um, most black people are going to forgive him anyway, which is an absolute travesty because we're afraid of crying. Oh, you, you, you want to play the race card? Oh, please. Give me a break with that. But as of now, nothing has been um, determined about the Draymond Green um, situation. And um, once I do find out, I will address that. But as of now, Draymond Green is going to be available. Let's hope for the Warriors' sake that he is available for this pivotal game four. This is probably the biggest, um, this is by far the biggest game of the season for them. And listen, unless um, Mr. Green turns it up, I don't, I don't see them having a chance. And listen, I'm not going to just count them out like that. They are the defending NBA champions. And I know Drayvon Green, if he is allowed to play. He's not going to play as badly as he did in game three. He just can't do it. I mean, if he does, then they might as well just pack up, you know, go fishing, go whatever, to go golfing or whatever, because then the series is over. Now, the other guy that's killing them in this series is Deion Waiters. I mean, they. I don't think they really counted on, they didn't count on the inside presence of um, Adams and, and Cantor. They didn't count on that to be as big um, a deal as it has been. And um, I really feel that um, Steph, Steph Curry, he just, he's not the same player since he has come back from the ankle injury. And we know everybody's not 100%. I'm not going to give him a pass on that. He's on the court, so he's going to perform. He's got to perform. There is no... Um, there is no, oh, let's give him a pass. He's hurt. He has a bad ankle. We've seen Larry Bird play with um, an assortment of injuries. Magic as well. I mean, Michael Jordan. We've seen all the great players play with an assortment of injuries, especially this time of year when you want the championship. So, listen, they just have to step it up. I believe that it will be a close game. I think, um, obviously... Warriors, this is a must-win situation. They cannot go down 3-1 because they'll probably win. If they win, if they lose game four, I can see them winning at home. They're not winning back at OKC. That OKC crowd was outrageous. And I'm sort of torn on that because even though and the OKC fan base has been outstanding, I sort of missed the fact that they were at one time the Seattle Supersonics. And that fan base was outstanding too. But, hey, it is what it is. And um, we'll just see what happens. Game four tomorrow night. This is Claude Sports Corner. Y'all take care and God bless.